So, why was Tyr helping Odin meet with the Giant Kings? Odin had persuaded Tyr that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. He knew the Giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, a super weapon in hands they did not trust. But they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word and his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The Giants anticipated Odin's trickery and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. With magic, they expelled Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. Frustrated, Odin visited his fury upon the Giants of Midgard. Thor unleashed Mjolnir's might upon any giant he could find. None could stand against the tide of slaughter that followed. And at last, it seems, with Tyr's aid, they retreated. The tower disappeared, no giants could be found in Midgard, and no man nor god has set foot in Jotunheim since. God of Thunder! Your challenges mean nothing to the gods, spirit. They do not listen. Do not mock my pursuit of vengeance. Though my family devoted their lives to worshipping Thor, I've devoted mine to his downfall. And I will start with that statue looming over my father's grave. Unlikely. You are dead. Is there something we can do? For a reward, of course. If you bring down the statue, you have my blessing to loot my father's grave. He rests on an island to the east. Why do you hate Thor so much? When my father passed. My mother built the statue and went to his grave. Imagine our surprise when the God of Thunder himself came to offer condolences. We were thrilled. 
quickly took advantage of our hospitality. My mother begged him to leave, and Thor, in his drunken rage, killed her. I was left with nothing but grief. Eventually, I lost that as well, and found only rage in its place. I... I'm so sorry. Come, Roy. We have a statue to destroy. grave lies on an island to the east. Do not mistake my mother's statue of Thor. whose mom was killed by Thor? What about him? Would his story be a reminder? The lives of men mean nothing to the gods. I know, Father. You know. But do you listen? Yes. Good. Where was I? Coming north, making a new start. By the time I arrived, I already knew Odin by his reputation, and so I set to demonstrate my worth by coming to him with something I knew he'd value, a mystic well of knowledge. Or rather, I should say, a well of water laced with enough mystic mushrooms to make a god see visions. Oh, he was rightly impressed. Can't say for sure what he saw that led him to try gouging out his own eyes, but I managed to restrain him before he finished the job. Then I persuaded him it has been his sacrifice made for an even higher form of sight to be bestowed. Blah, de blah, de blah, de blah. I used to think he never caught on. But the day he took my eye, I realized he had never been fooled. He knew I'd outwitted him, called the lesson wisdom, and hired me to make sure from then on I was on his side. And for a long, long time I truly was. Doesn't mean he didn't hold a grudge. Go! 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 Go!
I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If in your smarts, you'll find him. Look here. Yes, sir. Vathergar. Southern outposts of the Dwarven King. Dwarven King? Have you ever heard of a Dwarven King? No. I'd heard rumors of a powerful dwarf ruling over some poor sods not far from here. Not that you asked me. What happened to these people? Follow the clues. Okay. Well, scorch marks. They're all grouped together. So maybe they were hiding from some kind of fire breather. But they died anyways. Curse the Dwarf King, bane of mankind. Sounds like he wasn't a very good king. I wonder why they hated him so much. They are dead now. Does it matter? No, I'm just curious. Curiosity is dangerous, boy. Stay focused. begin to build statues this day. Dwarves are resourceful creatures. Annoying, but resourceful. I guess they must have been pretty important dwarves. Mimir, I still don't get why you ever wanted to work for Odin. Back then, I was young enough to still be ambitious. The Aesir gods were as powerful a force as I'd come across, but they clearly lacked for strategy, focus, and sage counsel. All this could I faithfully provide. And so a stranger from a far-off island found himself with Odin's ear, trusted as he trusted no one but himself. And with that kind of power, laddie, I must confess, there are perks. Yeah, but he's Odin. I never claim to be perfect, laddie, only clever. And often too clever by half. So what'd you do to get Odin so mad at you? Well, for a long time my job was to enable Odin, and I was fucking excellent at it. Gradually, as I grew more to care about people and the world, my job became to contain him. To protect him from himself. By serving peace, I served his interests as well. That's the truth. But he saw it as disloyalty. No longer trusting my motives, but not wishing to part with my brain or tongue, he bound me to a tree and adopted a new pastime of casual torture. Well, 
I'm glad we came along to cut off your head. Aye, lad. Lucky break that was. Well, here it is. It's gotta have a weak point. Somewhere. Do not fall this easily, boy. I know, I know. I was just joking. Nor are they a joking matter. Sorry. What's that down there? Come here. Is there a story for the giant with the flaming sword? Sew up the brave. Of course. We've spoken so much of frost giants. It's about time we instead met the most fiery giant of all. Back when Emir first emerged from Ginungagop, it was Suop who followed next. He came from Muspelheim, the Fire Realm, bringing heat to the young cosmos, conjuring the sun from his primordial flame. But let's come back to that flaming sword, shall we? Suart the Brave forged his sword of flame for one purpose alone. To burn down Asgard when Ragnarok comes at last. His destiny is to fall in the hands of Thor and Odin. But in so doing, strike the blow that leaves their realm in ash and ruin. And from that destruction, the world can be born anew. Until then, alone he waits in Muspelheim, never sleeping. Ever honing his fiery blade. Ray, generous suit, who knows he lives but to his doom. All because he chooses to serve a grand cycle so much bigger than himself. To truly embrace your purpose and the patience and sacrifice it demands is to ensure your day will come. You think we'll be there when that day comes? I've seen enough of war between the gods, but you, little brother, who can say? That sounds like a dragon. Here we go!
Here. Boy. Yes, sir. Interesting. Dragon is dangerous. I guess so. But it sounds so sad. Not sure where you get sad from all the roaring and fire breathing, lad. Atreus, follow me. Concern us. I know, but it's what Mother would have wanted. And it just seems right. Guard your emotions, boy. Your enemies will not hesitate to use them against you. Yes, sir. Too eager, boy. It may attack us, and we will be forced to kill it. Oh, good point. I'll be ready. We will see.
Look here. Yes, sir. to believe or to have faith in. So they still have faith in their king? Even after he got so many of them killed? It is a command to have faith despite his failures. On your side. Here, boy. Another one. Scotty. Mother liked her. A great huntress. That's right. Queen of the hunt, they called her. That's her father. And all the animals she hunted. He taught her well. In the last battle. Her father again. Both of them. In the snow. And they're still there. It's quite a story.
is this place? A ruin. Well, yeah. But the dwarf built it? He must have been aggressive back when he ruled. find out if dragons can be grateful or not. See this. Looks like that lever over there will free him. We will attack these. No. It feels wrong to keep something caged like this. Fawn, a your emotions again, boy. Oh, you can't hear their thoughts. I can't. Ignore them. And all ready yourself. Okay. Instead of rotting in a cage. Your skill is improving. You fought well, Atreus. Thank you, Father.
sure feels good. Yes, sir. Please don't eat us. Please don't eat us. Boy, prepare yourself. Huh.